Okay, try number two to get the phone cam to freaking work right. Anyway, these are the double row. Pink. Um, self-centering. Um, all bearings. Um, they are a thrust bearing. They do not come apart. They are pressed together. Cone inside, cone outside. Um, like a um, main bearing on, on your wheels on a freaking car. Um, except these are double row. They, they thrust both ways, not just one way. Um, they are very, very, very low drag. Um, this one, this one's not really oil. I popped it apart to show somebody else. Um, pop the shields off. So all the oil that, which is transmission fluid, um, pretty much poured out. Um, this is a rotor I was using for my original lathe. Um, this one with the shields on still has five degrees of misalignment possibility, but it lets this float. And unlike a magnetic bearing, which has to be spinning in order to work, um, otherwise a, a magnetic bearing will lock. And you have to put, you have to mechanically spin it to get it started going, or it's just going to grind. Um, because the magnets will touch each other, they'll settle on each in, in a co phase alignment. Um, whereas this, I can, if I had a hand free, I could, I could set this to a spin and it would just sit there and spin. Um, so something to check out. Um, they're 10 bucks a piece, whereas the magnets alone for a small. Uh, bearing housing, if you do aluminum casting to do it right, never, and, and by the way, never cast, never subject a neodyne magnet to more than 200 degrees Fahrenheit, it goes null. <laughs> Just saying. It's a very delicate crystal inside the chrome plating. Um, but, uh, yeah. Neodyne, I mean, if you, if you have the time and the resources, sure. For, for your bottom thrust bearing, but even even up top, these guys would be fuck man. They they handle they would probably handle up to 100 mile an hour winds easy. Okay, let's see if Facebook fucking butchers this one. 